on those extra free game show. It's Hey Rick, where you submit questions to Rick Dempsey on our Twitter page, and Rick Dempsey has the answers for you. Ready, Rick? I'm ready. You're full of answers, aren't you? You got it. Our first one is from <laughs> Kathy Wesley. Kathy says, hashtag, Hey Rick, how long do you think it's going to take to start bringing up some of the guys in the minors? Well, you know, the... The theory now for the organization is to leave these guys in the minor leagues and let them gain the experience that they need, not just wait until they get weak for uh, they get hot for a week and then you know hit a couple home runs or something and then all of a sudden they're at the major league level and everything goes back to the bottom of the barrel. So uh, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I think uh, maybe at AAA, some of the guys right there, if they show that they're mature enough at that level and they can dominate a little bit at that level, that in case somebody gets hurt, they might come up a little sooner, but I don't think any sooner than the All-Star break. And Rick, wouldn't you agree when you have guys like Renato Nunez and some of the other guys, you don't want to start shuffling those guys around either because they may be the answers and they're already in the big leagues. Well, you know, the guys that are here now are here for a reason, to get some major league experience and let's just see what they're, how they're improving as time goes on. If they're not showing much improvement, then there's a possibility they're going to get sent back to AAA ball and make the exchange. But that, that's going to, that'd be hard pressed because some guys are doing pretty good and you know next ready for the next one yes all right this one is from kenny uh sheiks hey rick long term who do you think is the best catching prospects we have moving forward is it severino severino could be the guy it's too soon to tell right now he lacks experience but he has energy behind him he's got a little power he can hit the ball a little bit um, I think he needs to learn a little thing about controlling the tempo of the ball game and helping the pitching staff get better. But he's certainly one of the big prospects that we do have. The Austin wins is another one right there. He's the veteran presence of the three guys that I'm going to talk about here. He's the veteran guy, a little bit older than the other guy. But that's one position where age is a factor that helps you a lot because you've got a little bit more experience and you can help pitching staffs get better quicker. He's a good stick. You don't see him rolling over on two too many pitch uh, good swings. He, I like the way that he hits Bobby. He doesn't have the power of a Severino. You go to Chance Cisco. Now, here's a guy that's pretty interesting at AAA ball. He's showing a lot of power right now and his ability to hit. We always knew he was going to be a good hitter. He's hit in the path. We need to leave him in AAA ball for a little while to get that experience down there, you know, so that when he comes to the major leagues, he's going to be even better than he is now. The defensive part of his game has still got to come a little bit, and that's only time is going to help him because he needs that experience very very uh, tough call right now to see which guy's going to dominate because neither one of them or any of them is getting uh, enough playing time on a regular basis at the major leagues to prove it out it's a slow process but cisco is definitely pushing both of those guys yeah, he is pushing them and i like severino you know that yeah our third and final question for hey rick this is from seth hey rick do you think it would be more beneficial for the o's to fight out of last place this season and build confidence as a team or to have another season in which they secure the number one pick by the way also thank you for signing my ball a few weeks ago <laughs> somebody i signed an autograph yeah, for he's from west virginia so very he came good all question the way up from west virginia very good question and very tough but here's my theory about it if you're not in a playoff situation uh, by the end of the season and you've got an over 500 record but uh, you're not going to be in the playoffs with a chance to win at all you know, it's like being the first loser or the second loser with the best record or the third loser with the best record. Any way you look at it, you're a loser. Under those circumstances, I'd rather end up in last place and get a first-round draft pick again because that's how quick uh, the, the best way to, to, to get your organization back in a situation where they can be possible winners for a World Series. So good question, but a tough question to answer. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rob. You did an awesome job. Thank you very an much. An awesome brother. job. <laughs>